What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a blueprint effect onto your text in Cinema 4D, and you can also incorporate it into normal 3D text to make it look really cool. So, let's jump into Cinema 4D. What you're going to want to do first is go to MoGraft and Text Job Object, and in my opinion this works best with not many letters, and I just like the letters GB for some reason that, that just seems to work well and you want to pick your font and I like uh, Zerod font or whatever it is click that so once you've got this um, you don't want to make it uh, the, you don't want the depth too much um, because then the blueprint will get all jumbled up it'll be really hard to see so about 50, uh, 45 is quite good, 45 to 50 and then I'm going to add a fillet cat to both of these I'm not going to go through everything I'm doing because you can watch a basic tutorial for that I'm then going to put the horizontal spacing up a bit uh, put that down a bit, there we go and I'm going to add some colour so, uh, I'm just going to have a, uh, what colour should I do? I'll do a red for this. And I'll add a bit of reflection, but you don't want too much reflection. So I'm going to pull brightness all the way down. And then pull mix strength to just under halfway, 40%. And I'll leave that. And then I'm going to make a black. And go to reflection. For as now. Pull the brightness down again. Pull this down to 40%. And then I'm going to add both of these. And now to put the black onto the um, cap of the text. Onto the cap around the edge. You want to click on the black colour you've got here, um, put caps lock on and click R1, so the letter R and the number 1, and as you can see it's now black around the edge. And then I'm going to add a sky, just to give it a bit of reflection, and that looks really cool. So, what you want to do now is you want to render this, so I'm going to come to my render settings, 1280. 720 save save it to my desktop as one and quicktime png and you want to make sure you enable alpha channel that'll get rid of the background anti-aliasing on best there we go make sure it's all in the picture and then you just want to go render picture view and yes i'll overwrite so once you've rendered this you can close that and now you want to make it into an outline so once you've rendered that first picture don't move the text at all you want to keep it exactly in the same position you want to come to this icon here which is like a white cube surrounded by green cubes next to the light and extrude nerve options click and hold and go to atom array then you want to drag your text object up into the atom array until the arrow is pointing down and let go and I'm just going to minimize that to be tidy and as you can see um, it looks kind of weird at the moment because there's these weird balls and it's quite thick it doesn't look that good and what you want to do is you want to mess with the cylinder radius and the sphere radius and I like the numbers down to the zero point five or sixes so I'm going to do zero point uh, five and the same for the sphere radius zero point five and render that that looks quite cool so I'm going to go back into save save it as two save and make sure your text is in exactly the same position and then render this out and yes I'll overwrite okay once you've done that uh, you can go into Photoshop and I'll close these um, open 
uh, where is it? One and two. Open both of these, and you want to drag this one onto here. And um, this is probably the hardest bit um, to make it look really good. You just need to line it up. Well, it's not that hard, but to get it to look really good. Okay. Uh, I'll leave mine about there. And now you want to make sure that your solid text layer is above the blueprint layer. You want to come to eraser, like um, the eraser tool. Make sure it's on soft, soft eraser. And my size is on 195. And then you just want to erase parts of it so that the blueprint shows through. You can play around with these settings. I'm going to make my background black. There we go, that looks better. Oh. Just erase parts of the text and you get a really cool blueprint effect. And then to neaten it up, I go to a hard brush pull the size down a bit and then go onto the blueprint layer and just erase around the edges of this because you can sometimes see the edges of it just neaten everything up maybe go to soft brush so the edges don't look so harsh and that's pretty much it so I uh, hope that you find this tutorial helpful. I know I haven't done very many Photoshop tutorials lately. If you subscribed to me uh, for Photoshop tutorials, leave a comment in the comment section. And I will, if there are enough comments, I will start making a lot more tu uh, Photoshop tutorials. But uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And this is Cruise Designs. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.